Okay, now that I've gotten certain things out of my system, let's go ahead and move on with some other Godzilla-related news. Let's start with some recent casting announcements for Godzilla vs. Kong. The most recent additions are Rebecca Hall and... Aiza... 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 Well, her last name is definitely Gonzalez. I'm just not sure how to pronounce her first name. Speedy? No, that's probably not it. Looking at her IMDB, I can't really say I've seen anything she's been in before. I've heard of certain things, like Baby Driver or the upcoming Alita Battle Angel, but prior to that, she doesn't appear to have been in all that much. She apparently got her start in Spanish-language TV series. I have to say, if there's one thing these next two MonsterVerse Godzilla movies have been doing consistently, it's casting people whose work I'm not familiar with. On the other hand, I have seen things Rebecca Hall has been in. Movies like The Prestige, Frost Nixon, and Iron Man 3. So I do have a bit more familiarity with her work. Along with that, I can also add a little to a previous casting announcement, as Alexander Skarsgård recently dropped some info about his character that will be in Godzilla vs. Kong. Now obviously he doesn't give away much, but he does say this. I'm just quoting him directly here, so his language and grammatical issues are his own. Quote, He's not an alpha bad hero, which I thought was quite interesting. He's thrown into this very dangerous situation and is definitely not equipped for it, and that makes it a bit more interesting in my opinion than had he been a bad dude. He's just a tiny, tiny human trying to survive between these two behemoths. Alright, that really doesn't give us much to go on. It could very well describe just about anybody who's appeared in a MonsterVerse movie so far. But that does mean there's consistency at play. I guess this is his way of letting us know he's not playing Tarzan again. Of course, his version of Tarzan was far from a truly heroic figure, but that was an issue of the script. Of course, this video does have a tiny bit of sad news accompanying it. It would seem that Kimi Honda, wife of the original Godzilla director Ishiro Honda, passed away at the age of 101 years young on November 3rd. Yeah, on what is usually considered Godzilla's birthday, no less. Well, she will most certainly be missed. Well, that was a bit of a downer note to end on, but, well, it's pretty much the only other news there's been at this point. Well, I'll be back when there are other updates, hopefully something a bit more celebratory. Until such time as we meet again, this is the Omni Viewer signing off. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, as well as subscribe to the channel for more content of a similar nature. Also, check the description for links to our Twitter, DeviantArt, and Patreon pages, as well as the Amazon link for the novel Operation Red Dragon The Daikaiju Wars Part 1, penned by yours truly. Thank you all, and we appreciate your support.